So let's talk about the metaphor one quick second. It is literally chain versus the world. And when I mean the world, I mean every single other hero within flesh and blood. You have heroes like Prism that can be able to kind of deal with it. You've got heroes like Bolton that can't deal with it, but tries to deal with it. And then everyone else piled on top trying to deal with that deck. That deck is so fucking oppressive, it's so stupid. Of course I'm talking about CC in Blitz, he's a little bitch. And you can slap him sideways within basically whatever hero if you play well. But, literally, the main cards that are the issue, everyone keeps talking about rifting, uh, Rift Bind. But I, it's, it's honestly just Seeds of Agony. Fuck Seeds Agony. Seeds of Agony turns on their Nebula Blade. Seeds of Agony is free damage. It has go again. And, uh, it, 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 it just turns Riftbind on. Riftbind on its own is perfectly fine. Who fucking cares? It, they, they give him plus one or plus two. It costs one. It should be alright to use that. Plus, the blue one hits for one. But, Seeds of Agony and fucking Riftbind in a deck that's able to gain go again, be able to play cards from the Banish Zone, be able to play into a late game, the most defensive blocking equipment there is in the game, fuck those fucking cards. I'm fucking sick of versing play, uh, sick of versing chain in CC. It's one of the main reasons why I don't play like playing CC because there's always one dominating oppressive deck like Dash or or uh, fucking uh, chain right now. <sighs> Took a moment to come out. That's why you don't have a lot of my new deck profiles out there these days. I do play a lot still, but when it comes to chain, chain is literally the most broken thing that's happened to this game. Uh, yeah, oh, Yossi, who the fuck cares? It's just the card game. Well, fucking, it, it, it matters for a lot of people who, like, like playing the game. And I know that this could just be a downward spiral of everything turning into a deck like this. I don't mind it, but currently at the moment, when we've all invested all of our time and effort into all these new decks and new, these new heroes, and all old heroes and all the... All the past metas and all that. It just kind of feels like a big fuck you from LSS. Saying, buy our new product. Or fucking just die to the new decks whenever they come out. I personally still love playing Brute Heroes. Uh, Leviath still somewhat decent without Chain being around. But honestly, the fact that like... You, you see the numbers. You see the numbers. You, you get a few bravos in the top tables, you get a few, like, other heroes in the top tables, but honestly, that's only because these heroes are able to mitigate some of their damage and then maybe get them into the late game and mill them out. But the, the more that people play, the more Matt Rogers that we'll have, the, the more Hayden Dales that we'll have. Once it gets to that point in the game, it's literally just going to be one hero versus everyone. Now, I know, I know they have a system in place where if a, if a hero wins enough, that eventually all get banned. Well, hopefully it fucking happens soon because we're, we're all in lockdown. Like, most of us, we, there's not a lot of events going around. There are some, of course, but... You're telling me we're probably going to have to deal with this deck for another six months? Like, I, there's no doubt in my mind, no doubt in my mind, that any of the new heroes from Tales of Aria will be able to mitigate Chains damage, Chains go again, Chains chains on layers and all that. Like, what's the point of learning all these new heroes, all the old heroes? What's the point of having fun when you're just going to get fucked in the ass by... A, a, a soul reaping turn three where it's got three uh, seeds agony into a, a rift bind that swings for a billion like come on <laughs> it's just disappointing like it's it's hard being it's not hard but it's disappointing putting a lot of effort into things when there's just one hero that, that, that's completely dominating the entire meta. Everything revolves around it. I like to say it's like the Pokemon meta, where you've got one big deck, you've got two decks that can kind of deal with it, but those decks deal with each other pretty well, and then you've got other heroes that are able to deal with those two decks. So you've just stuck with the top one. But, honestly, as I stated, you get rid of Seeds of Agony, you get rid of Seeds of Agony, 
There's no Nebula Blade. There is no extra Rift Spine damage. Like, a hero that just has go again on an, on an attack but they have to mill is perfectly fine. There's no issue with that. The issue is the amount of... Uh, they, they can save this damage, they can save it all. And then, like, hit you for, a, like, a massive amount in one turn. Like, they can save up two Rift Binds and just swing you massively in one big turn. Like, I don't play Chain, but I can see the combos. It's not a... It, 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 you don't have to be a mastermind to play that fucking deck. It's the fucking most easiest thing ever. You hit your, your Soul Shackle, and you hit, and then hit. It, like, what's what's so hard about that? There's no skill. It's only mill and win. You play with two fucking hands. What's the point of having four intellect when you have like five intellect as, as far as you banish zone? Like, like it's a surprise that LSS didn't make a make a shadow card that says when you uh, you can play you can block from the, this card from your arsenal uh, from your banish zone. Like, That's why I like keeping it really simple. I like playing Blitz. Blitz is like, everyone's fair. Every, it, like, there's RNG for everyone. You can play slow, you can play quick. And everyone's rewarded. Even Ira's not really an issue. Ira has its, has its downsides. Alright. 